guys uh, I'm going to show you how to use our new impression die or our new silhouette die so we have we don't have a whole lot of them yet but we'll get more so a lot of people would believe that they could use a piece of urethane on this and press it in what happens though is urethane goes to the place of least resistance which will mean you'll bend the actual frame of this so Instead of suggesting lead, which works really good, I'm going to use what everybody has, which is cardboard, so that everyone understands. It, and it's not special cardboard. It's from a box. So it's just cardboard. And I'm going to stack up a few pieces of cardboard and put on the pump here. And set all my cardboard on top. Let's see. So you can see it's a little light over here. I could press it again to get a little bit better detail, but notice it didn't cut it and my frame didn't get bent. I'm going to do this little chili pepper next. This is just 20 gauge copper. I haven't bothered to anneal it because I'm lazy. Set that in there. I'm going to use my cardboard. Stack up a few sheets of it. It's a little bit light, but not bad. You can see the chili pepper. I know that if I was to use a little bit thinner gauge metal, or perhaps anneal it, I'd get a better impression. Let's do snowflake. I promise you, if you use a piece of urethane on this, all these parts are gonna bend. Got our piece of copper. And I'm going to fold up my cardboard because it's gotten kind of smushed. There we go. Remember, this isn't special cardboard, just regular cardboard. You could probably eat it if you wanted to. Not toxic, I don't think. There we go. The more you stack, the deeper the image can be. So, there we go. It's a little faint, but like I said, you can stack more cardboard if you want. So, that's basically how you use them. You could use leather too, but everybody's got cardboard. So, see you later.